What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. This is season six, episode 10, Struggle Bus. Hmm. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down. And then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to let me know that you stopped by if you're a returning subscriber. What's going on? Did you miss your auntie? Auntie sure enough missed you. Y'all, this episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, first and foremost, yes, I know it's late, but look here, your auntie been, I've been just dealing with a lot, okay? Hence the shirt, keep it pushing. Keep praying until something happens, and that's sure enough what I've been doing. Speaking of keep it pushing, I will drop the link down in my description box below where you can get this shirt. Make sure to use coupon code Auntie Mo. 15 and you will receive 15% off your purchase. She is an up-and-coming little fashion designer. Her name is Briante Craig. Get this shirt, okay? You're not only supporting me, your auntie, because you love me, but you're also supporting a college student. Black skin, I mean black girl magic, brown skin girl, black girl magic, all of that. You supporting us all. Secondly, this episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood was born anyway. I'm just saying, it was boring. I had to watch it twice, just so I can get into it because it was very boring. But, all in all, I will have a good review for you guys. Hopefully, y'all are ready for the review, because I'm ready to give it to you, so let's get right on up into it. Y'all, so this episode started off on that bullshit again. They still on the bus. It's picking up where it left off. They on the bus. Zell's in Paris is going at it with Britney B. It was just too doggone merch. It was too merch. It was too merch. Apple was me. Pull this doggone thing over. I'm sick of this. I ain't come here for this. I want to come to my family reunion. I ain't want to have to come here and deal with y'all. I barely want to go to family reunion because it's going to be there with people that I really don't too much mess with any doggone way. So I ain't got time for y'all drama because I'm trying to be in a headspace to deal with people that I don't too much like any doggone way. So whatever it is that y'all got going on, I don't want to be a part of it. Get me off this doggone I am tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Get me off. So they pulled over. She got off. She got into another band that was waiting behind. It was probably some more folk in production. She just put them on now, child. She got off the bus. Mickey got off the bus because he was probably like, you know what? I can't deal with this shit. I ain't come on here for this. I can't even go to Vegas. What the hell is this? So Britney B gets off the bus off the bus. Then Booby goes and talks to her. Meanwhile, Zell's in Paris. Still going here with it. Still going here with it. Now, Booby gonna have a nerve to say, he's Team Paris all day. That's his girl. He doesn't like what Britney B said and what her approach was, but he gonna say whatever he has to do to calm her down so they can make their way to Vegas. Now, look here, Booby. She wasn't the one that started that. Now, mind you, I ain't no fan of Britney B, but she not the one that started that. Zell started that when he came at her about you need to owe, you owe us an apology, whoop de whoop blue do 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 Now, if anything, yes, I feel like she owes Paris an apology because she was being shady with her, but this whole thing with Zell's, baby, Zell started that. And not only that, booby, what the hell is you doing here? What, what is you here for? So finally, Apple goes, and she tries to talk to Britney B. She's like, look here. They got a whole nother car back here waiting. Let's just go get in this other car. We can ride to Vegas with some music, some AC. We can do what we do. We ain't got to worry about this drama on the bus. Britney B is like, I'm not getting off the bus. I don't care what they doing. Now, um, doggone Apple Watch is trying to tell this girl, look here. They just going to keep going at you. You already know Zells ain't finna stop. Britney B don't care. She's like, look here, I'm the new 2020 Rosa Parks. I'm not getting off the bus. Now, Heffa, you was wrong as hell for comparing yourself to Rosa the Parks. Girl, bye. You, girl, bye. So, finally, Britney B ends up talking Apple into getting back on the bus. So, they get back on the bus, and the producers then get on there like, look here, y'all, we need to go to Vegas. Now, mind you, a couple of hours done passed, and they sitting on the side of the doggone road somewhere like some idiots, some idiots. So finally, the producer's like, look here, Zell's parents, y'all gonna have to get off the bus. 
She not getting off. Y'all doing the most. Let's just go ahead and go. Y'all get y'all last one off this bus now. Now, first, Zell was finna act the fool. He was like, no, I ain't going nowhere. But then he had, I'm sure he thought about it. Like, okay, last time I acted a fool, I wasn't invited back for a whole year. So maybe I need to shut my dog on mouth. And I can, you know what I'm saying, keep, keep getting these little coins. So he got off the bus. Soon as he gets off the bus, Brittany's going to say, now that the clown is gone, Paris, I can talk to you face to face. Now, look here, girl. I get what you was trying to do. You wanted to talk to her to squash the beef, but at the same time, you came in on the wrong approach because you're talking about a homeboy. You obviously see that they're freaking frack. They're like this. So if you got a problem with one of them, you're going to have a problem with the other of them. That's all I'm saying. So your approach of saying, now that the clown is gone, I can talk to you. Off top, Paris was not receptive to you, and she wasn't. She was like, why you want to talk to me now that he's gone, and why you got to call him a clown? Yes, he was acting like a clown, but again, Brittany, you trying to get in good with them, girl. This your first time on here. Sorry to say, but they, they ain't new to this. They true to this. So, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm the girl, like, stop it. I want to like Britney. I really do. Because I'm not one of them sisters that hate on other sisters. And I'm not hating on her. I just hate the things that she does. She's very, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, her and Paris talk. She's trying to apologize to Paris. Paris ain't hearing it. Britney, like, fine, whatever. If I have any events, I'll invite you to them. Just you, not him. You don't want to accept it. Find it is what it is. Brittany gets up to walk away, and that's when Paris pulls a punk pussy move. She throws a drink on her, and she grabs her from behind. Now, look here. Couple things was wrong with that whole scenario. Like I said, I'm Apple. Although I'm 39, I'm woman enough to admit it's some things that I still got to work on. And arguing back and forth don't work with me. Because, yes, it's a part of me, part of little hood of me that still like to fight. So... I, I, I don't have time for that going back and forth stuff because all I see is red and I'm like, okay, you that mad, so let's fight and get it out of our system. That's how I am. Like I said, I'm 39 and I'm working on that. I ain't gotten to a fight in yours. Thank you, Lord. He done worked on me. But that wouldn't work for me right there, number one. Number two, Paris. You kind of sneaked the girl from behind. If you really had a problem with her, how come you don't? She was right there in your face sitting next to you. I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing right there. Ooh, it's just, this is, ooh, ooh, ooh. So, Zell's here. That it's a whole ruckus going on. He come back, get on the bus. Now, mind you, at this point, Apple is pissed. Because when Paris threw that drink, it got halfway on Britney and all the way on Apple. So, now Apple turned up. Her and Paris starts going at it. Paris is like, I don't got a problem with you. I got a problem with your homegirl. But it is what it is if you want to have a problem, too. Look here. Homegirl, you are Just the whole, the whole scenario about it was just, I, mm -mm. I could have done without it. I could have done without it. So then Zell starts getting up in Apple's face. They start doggone arguing. Finally, they get Zell's and Paris off the bus. Brittany and Apple get back on the bus along with Mickey Monday and Booby. And they ride on over to Vegas while Paris and Zell's rides in the car over there. Y'all, that's what should have happened in the first dog on place because it was just too damn much going on as, as it is. And again, Zell was, Zell's was the one that started it. Paris carried it out. But Brittany, you could have just been like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with y'all little ratchet asses. I'm going to get the hell on. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, though. That's just how I think. So y'all, they make it back to the house right now. Apple, Brittany B., Mickey Monday and Booby, they make it to the house first. Lyrica is there to greet them. Lyrica was smart. Lyrica took a plane. She's like, I'm not going to do this shit. Uh-uh. I ain't fit to do it. Soon as they get in there, Lyrica's asking like, okay, where is Zell's and Paris? Because they're the ones that invited me. Brittany B and Apple begin to tell her like, you know, we got into it. We kicked them off the bus. whoop the whoop Lyrica's like, oh, well, damn. They invited me here. Let me call them to see how they doing. Now, Apple gets pissed. She walks out like, I'm not with this funny buddy shit here. You trying to be messy? Whoop -de well, she didn't say she was trying to be messy. She just said, I'm not with this funny buddy stuff, right? So she walks out and leaves. She said she's going to go to bed. She got to prepare for her family, for her family reunion, any doggone way. Lyrica ends up calling Zells. Zells, 
Now she has them on speaker. She's like, what's going on? I'm here with Brittany. They told me that y'all got into it. Like y'all got into a fight. Like what's going on? Zell's immediately starts going off. Are you there with Brittany? You tell her we about to pull up. It's about to be a problem. Whoop -de now, at that point, Lyric is like, look here. We need to talk this out before y'all get here because I don't want y'all getting here with no drama. It's enough that I'm already going through. Brittany B, come in here so we can talk. Now, I didn't see nothing wrong with that. Brittany see that as her being messy. So then she starts to get into it with Lyrica. She's like, you just being messy. That was messy of you to do. Lyrica's like, how is that being messy? I want y'all to talk. So y'all ain't got to come in here with no doggone drama. Them two starts to get into it to where they doggone near fighting. Like, I was with Lyrica. Like, you want so bad to have beef with me and to have a problem with me. But you all in this by yourself, girl. So Brittany being Apple, they decide they don't want to stay there. They finna go get a sweep. Brittany claims that she got more money than all of them put together. So she finna go and stay on in the sweep. What happened? That's what you should have did in the first doggone place. Because you know that nobody like and that nobody wants you to run in the first damn place. I'm just saying. So Zells and Paris get there. Soon as Zells walk up in the door, he just throws the bag on the ground. That show you what shipping that bag no doggone way. Cause I don't care. I'm I, I don't fuck with the flow like that. My bags wouldn't be on no flow. That's just me. Though. I don't know about nobody else. So soon as they go in, they start talking about the whole incident that happened on the bus. Lyrica starts to tell them about how she almost got into it with Britney. Whoop de whoop from that conversation, right? So then Booby and Mickey Monday start to ask Lyrica what's going on with A1. Like, is she gonna stay? Is she gonna leave? What's going on with that? Now, because I'm married, I'm the type of person that feels like you can't give real marriage advice unless you're married. That's just me though, right? Now, Zells gives her <laughs> his advice. He says, a1 probably was not the type of guy that got a lot of coochie when he was younger. So now that he's famous, he's getting cooch thrown at him left and right, and he don't know what to do. So it's up to you to try to help him understand and mold him to where he don't do that. Now, if that ain't the dumb shit I heard in 2019, I don't know what is. But oh, here's one even better. Booby, he don't have the nerve to say. Now look here, A1 got a problem like me, can't stay out of trouble, but you gotta stick it out in a marriage until you can't do it no more. Booby, get to the back some damn wear and make some damn drinks. I don't wanna hear you say nothing else. Y'all, so the next morning, Lyrica's in her room crying. Zells goes in there to check on her. She gets a phone call, she said, from somebody. One of her homegirls, probably see her, called her and said that A1 is out there living it up in Vegas at a pool party. So she looks at it, I don't know if it was a snap, Insta something, and seeing that he's like at this pool party, we lit, having the time of his life. Now, she's back over there in the room, pouting and crying. It's like he's telling all of y'all that he loves me, he wants to be with me. Yet, he's out here in Vegas at a pool party, living his best doggone life night. Now, what the hell is really going on with that? Now, at this point, Paris comes in the room, and Paris is like, uh-uh, none of that. You need to have some tip for tat with his ass. He want to be out here doing whatever he want to do. Then you need to be up in here in Vegas, and you need to be doing whatever the hell it is that you want to doggone do. So... Don't be sitting over there crying over that dog on food. We fit to get up. We fit to take some pictures, and it is what it is. Now, Lyrica ends up cooking breakfast for them, y'all. And I was thinking that when I seen them eggs, I was like, do she got a lot of cheese in them eggs? Because they look kind of runny. Like, they running off the dog on skillet. And sure enough, Paris told her, have you ever made eggs before? She was like, yeah, because that chick was nasty. It looked nasty. It looked real, real nasty. I can't stand no run, but my, my eggs have to have cheese. See, there go that fat girl talking. We ain't even talking about that shit. So, J-Bug meets with Marcus Houston and LDB. He wants to try to work this thing out again with Immature. Now, J-Bug is, he's for certain he finna get this damn thing run. He comes, shows up with a shirt that says Immature 1994 to 2019. He determined to get this dog on concert popping, and I ain't even mad at you, J-Bug. I respect your hustle, fool. So he's talking with them. Now, 
LDB, his whole thing was he was upset that they weren't getting, you know, straight down the middle, all three of them equally like they used to do when they were kids. Marcus had to let him know and understand, look here, I'm doing five more songs that are mine. That's basically a whole nother concert. But he did tell them that the time they got together in 2013 was the best time he had in his life. And he wants to do this um, tour so bad, he's willing to come down on his percentage. That is bomb. Um, LDB. You gotta take that boy. You know you need this dog on money. And sure enough, he did agree to that. Marcus, that's real classy of you. I damn sure appreciate that for you, right? Now, Jay Bug, he got another idea. He wants to invite Ray J. I'm gonna call the nigga RJ. He wants to invite Ray J on tour with them as well because he saw the crowd's response when they invited Ray J to come out on their immature tour, right? Now, LDB is cool with it. Marcus's whole thing is that me. And um, Ray J, we've got past history. You know, we got past beef, past childhood actor beef that we need to talk and we need to work out first. Now, I don't blame Marcus Houston, Batman on that. We ain't working out nothing until me and you talk about what the hell is going on because you got a problem with me. Like Marcus said, it's a lot of time. I ain't got no problem with niggas, but niggas got a problem with me. I feel him on that. Bitch, I ain't got no problem with you. You got a problem with me and that's your problem. Just saying. So when J-Bug finally does meet with Ray J, Marcus Houston shows up, right? Now, J-Bug tells Ray J the whole idea about him wanting to go on tour with them, right? For the whole immature thing. Now, Marcus is like, look here, I'm, I'm down with it, but I know me and you had some issues. Like, we just need to talk this out. Cha! Talking about a nigga holding on to a goddamn dream. Ray J was like, I was up for a part on this show called Cuts. I told Marcus about it. The next day, I don't get no phone call because I knew I'd already had the part. I was told I had the part. Nobody calls me. I call to check out what's going on. They're like, oh, Marcus got the part. So he robbed me out of my part. Marcus is like, look here, my agent called me and told me about this. I didn't know nothing about it. Ray J's like, hold on, homeboy. You did know about it, homeboy, because I told you about it. I think he was probably supposed to be up for the role of... Um, Roger on Sister Sister too. He was salty about that. And then Ray J said he was supposed to be one of the original members of Immature, but he got cut. So he got his own little old animosity or whatever that he holding on to. So in the midst of them talking, when Marcus told Ray J, I don't know nothing about that. My agent called me and told me about it, which the show was only on for one damn season anyway, Ray J. Come on now. Ray J gets pissed and he stands up and Marcus stands up. Jay Booker's like, hold on, how about y'all niggas sit down? Like, hold on, we just trying to talk. Marcus like, look here, if you think I stole something from you, I apologize. Let's just go out here and try to get this money, because we too old for that shit. We all got kids. Like, my apologies. First, you think Ray J finna have a problem. Ray J like, man, you know what? I'm over there. I ain't got time for it. Shit, my belly big, and I need to work out. I feel you on that, Ray J. I feels you so he ends up forgiving them they forgive each other they accept each other's apology and so they finna go on tour they finna do this little thing hopefully they come into austin because baby if you come to austin texas mo will have her ass in the front damn row singing all the doggone immature songs ray j songs too if i had one wish i would damn sure be there trust Y'all, so it's the day of Apple Apple Watches family reunion. Her whole family there, girl, they look hood as fuck. I thought my family was hood. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Auntie had a whole shaved head right here and a swoop thing down on the side with a knot right here. Baby, she look like she served chicken, babysit kids, and sell nickel bags out of her house. All at the same damn time between the hours of 8 and 5. And she damn sure off on Sunday because she got to go to church. That's exactly what she looked like. So Apple and uh, Brittany B came with her to her family reunion. That's the home girl now. That's a busty. Whatever. She ends up going with her to her family reunion, and Apple is introducing Brittany to the family, introducing the family to Brittany B. Now, Apple's oldest son is there also. Skip all of this. Now, they were supposed to, her main purpose of going there, she thought her three sisters, the triplets, and her grandmother, who she doesn't really get along with and talk to, she thought they was going to be there. Guess them helpers' names are. Girl. Portia, Mercedes, and Alexis. 
I bet you they three of the most bougetto bitches you will ever meet in your life with names Porsche, Mercedes, and Lexus. Bitch, all you need is Buick and LeSabre, and you can have a whole doggone basketball team. You can have a girls group. <laughs> Call the automobiles, like Cadillac Records. That's just crazy. But they weren't there. Auntie said she got a phone call at the last minute. They said they can't do it. To hell with them, Apple. To hell with it. Apple was hurt. But me personally, I guess because I'm getting older and I'm maturing and I'm learning that people either stay in your life for a reason or a season. You don't talk to them. They won't come around. Sleep good. Money ain't going to stop. It is what it is. But she a little hurt over it. It's whatever with that. So she ends up talking with her son. And y'all, this part was so emotional. Her son did look confused as hell. Like, he didn't know what the hell to do. But she was just crying, telling him that she wants him to be better than her. And be better than his father. Even though his father's locked up in prison right now. She knows that, you know, people probably talking about her out on, on these streets. She don't give a damn. She loves him for loving her regardless. And she just wants him to be a superstar. He plays basketball. Hopefully one day we'll be able to see this young man make it big make his mama proud and just do the damn thing you know what i'm saying because y'all know i love me some apple watts apple watch that's my girl but y'all the episode pretty much ended from there it was really only them three scenes that really went on the whole bus thing the immature thing and the apple thing the bus immature apple is what the hell it was <laughs> If I missed out on anything or if I forgot anything, y'all, please don't hesitate to put it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Keep it pushing. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.